The crypto ecosystem right now is evolving. It's moving fast. But for crypto miners, one thing's been constant. You need mining rigs and you need power. Lots and lots of power. We believe power generated from fossil fuels is the past. The future is clean, sustainable, renewable power. And we believe that crypto is also the future. It's the future of our financial system. It's the future of banking. It's the future of money. We're bringing all of these things together and we're excited about where we're going. We're still only at the dawn of something new and there's lots of work to do. But it's fun to look back and see where we've been. All right, let's do this. A shame, think something new under the sun. Mm. You can't take back some things you already done, done. No. So the founders of Argo are Jonathan Bixby and Mike Edwards. They've done a lot of really interesting projects, you know, over the course of their careers. And uh, it was Jonathan who initially called me in December of 2017 and said, hey, we're going to launch this, this cryptocurrency project. He knew that I had Bitcoin and I had quite a bit of experience launching new companies and projects. But it was a space where it was very immature. There was just not a lot of credible companies doing it. You know, a lot of people wouldn't return your calls because they didn't think that you were real. Um, one of the first things I did was put an ad out on Indeed. I think it was head miner or head of mining operations or something along those lines. And got a lot of emails from people who were looking for actual traditional mining jobs, but received an email from, from this guy, Perry. So I first learned about Argo when a friend of mine uh, sent me a job posting and he said, that funny internet money you're always talking about, they're looking for someone to mine it. <laughs> I like this. Seven years experience with crypto mining, started with Litecoin, which is still priced in cents. But yeah, that's where it all began with Perry. And he said, well, why don't you come, you know, tomorrow and, and visit my house where I've got all of these mining machines that I've built. Um, so I did. We are here at my parents' house. We walk down here, still have all my miners stashed away. This wouldn't have worked at Argo, but it worked really well uh, for a basement. And so, what it was, basically, if you think of basically, uh, you know, a 4U or 42U server rack, this piece of plywood, everything sat on. We had the motherboard here. We had our risers. The GPUs would sit across here. They'd be zip tied. I didn't really even know what Bitcoin was at the time. It was kind of a fluke. Started mining with one card in my computer. And then, like with most people, got carried away, stuck another one in. And that's when I realized heat became an issue. When I initially started mining, a couple of GPUs here and there, it wasn't a whole lot of heat. But once you start getting 40, 50 GPUs, it gets really, really hot. And the thought of just wasting that heat and then turning on you know, the furnace in the winter, it seemed illogical. So I said, if I can figure out a way to get this heat into the furnace. And so the cold air would come in through the front and the sides were sealed. There was about a foot and a half aluminum tube that I was close enough to my central air furnace it would just circulate this heat throughout the house. So up until minus 20 Celsius, the house would be warm with those miners. It didn't take me long to, uh, to realize that Perry was a genius. So Seb applied for the same job as Perry, but in kind of a apologetic way. Seb is basically saying here, <laughs> he's like, I'm not at all qualified to apply for this job. <laughs> I saw I saw a job posting for a cryptocurrency mining company building a project. I thought with my experience and my passion with uh, crypto and uh, blockchain, I just felt like I should write an email and, and offer my services. I bought my first Bitcoin in 2014, which I lost since then, fortunately. I guess everyone has one of these stories where uh, they either lost or sold Bitcoin too early, but I really believe in that 
technology behind uh, Bitcoin, the blockchain in general, I think is a revolution. We were working in Quebec. Seb's, you know, obviously a francophone, speaks very good English. Um, and I was calling around different regions in Quebec looking for, for power, looking for a space. So I initially hired Seb part-time and then that lasted about a week. And then very quickly he was full-time. I call Seb my idea checker. I run everything by him because he's great at, you know, good, bad, pros, cons. He's kind of the one that makes sure everything is as it should be. We're all believers in uh, Bitcoin and crypto in general. I, I think that's kind of a requirement to be working at Argo. You need to believe in the mission. We know that the blockchain technology will change the world and we're really excited to be part of it.